The question, why hasn't a movie been made for Neil Gaiman's DC Vertigo comic book Sandman? From almost since after, say, a year after it debuted, there's been talk of a Sandman movie. Which is understandable, since it is highly cinematic in nature. There have been attempts and a project for TV is currently in the works. But Sandman aka Dream isn't a superhero who has easily digestible adventures. The saga of The Endless is more comparable to a film by Vim Vendes or Jim Jarmusch than Spielberg. A movie that was true to the concept is possible, but would be a hard sell to the mall rats who devour Transformers films. I personally have doubts about a TV show as well, but that is something that makes more sense than a two-hour movie. So far, at least one there has one project that managed to get into early pre-production stages and creator Neil Gaiman and actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt were a part of that. Here is a statement from Gordon Levitt, who was in DC's The Dark Knight Rises. You'll remember about how that project got stalled in March of 2016. So, as you might know if you like to follow these sorts of things, a while back, David Goyer and I made a producing deal with Warner Brothers to develop a movie adaptation of Neil Gaiman's Sandman. Neil himself came. On as an executive producer, we hired the excellent screenwriter, Jack Thorne, and we started in on the ambitious task of adapting one of the most beloved and boundary-pushing titles in the world of comics. I was pleased with the progress we were making, even though we still had quite a ways to go. Recently, as you also might know if you like to follow these sorts of things, the sorta ownership for lack of a better term, of the Sandman material changed hands when Warner Brothers shifted the entire catalog of Vertigo Comics and imprint of DC, to their subsidiary, New Line. And a few months ago, I came to realize that the folks at New Line and I just don't see eye to eye on what makes Sandman special, and what a film adaptation could slash should be. So unfortunately, I decided to remove myself from the project. I wish nothing but the best for the team moving forward. So that was more than two years ago, and since then, as mentioned above, they're now on to a television show. We'll see what happens, but I'm not holding my breath.